What you're seeing right now is a perfect example of why I love speedrunning 007 Nightfire. It's fast paced, exciting, and there's a ton of variety. Every level is unique, and getting good at each one requires practice and dedication. There are on foot action levels, stealth levels, fast paced driving levels, some on rails missions here and there to break up the action, and the subject of today's video, a slow paced water level called Deep Descent. This mission has all the qualities you would expect an underwater level to have. The music is calm, the gameplay is slow, and the player has to drive carefully through a bunch of caves with mines in them. Speedrunners don't like it because it's not the kind of level you want to play a hundred times. But the main problem I have with it is that it kind of brings Nightfire to a screeching halt. For the next couple of minutes, you just follow the path the game tells you to and try not to hit anything along the way. Speedrunners have tried for years to find a way to skip parts of this mission like they did with all the others, but the game almost seems like it's fighting back. However, I'm happy to say that the holy grail of Nightfire speedrunning has finally been found. A way to get out of bounds in Deep Descent. So let's start at the beginning. Honestly, the strategy in Deep Descent hasn't changed much over the years. It's a linear level where you complete simple objectives along the way. There are some challenges like the part where you have to dodge these mines, or a part where you have to chase an enemy submarine, and the boss fight at the end, which is honestly more difficult than it should be. I imagine a lot of people's playthrough of this game ended right here. But speedrunners are the type of people to figure out all the best racing lines and strategies to deal with the tough boss fights, so none of this is a challenge to them. For them, it's just driving from point A to point B for a couple of minutes, and that hasn't changed in years. However, that's not the case for another driving level in Nightfire. Enemies Vanquish is a really fast paced mission where you're driving down a mountain in the Alps, you're dodging traffic and running from the cops, blowing up enemies. There's even a part where you're driving on ice, but none of this actually happens in a speedrun though because there's a way to skip it. Actually there's a lot of ways to do that. The easiest way is to just turn around, drive into these barriers, and then bring the back of the car into the one behind you. Then the car will sometimes flip over. When the car flips itself back to normal, you can drive up the wall and get out of bounds where you can drive straight to the end of the level. This isn't the only way to get out of bounds here either. You can also drive into a snowmobile and hope it launches you out of bounds. You can lure a police car to the start of the level and have it push you up the wall. Or you can blow yourself up and hope the explosion pushes you over the wall. Like I said, there's a lot of ways to get out of bounds and skip the level. With all this in mind, speedrunners have wondered for years if it's possible to do something similar in Deep Descent. After all, if we can skip one driving level, maybe we can skip another. Unfortunately, there isn't much to work with here. Yeah, you can drive in any direction you want, but that just means the developers are going to put invisible walls everywhere to prevent you from getting out of bounds. It makes sense they didn't do that in Enemies Vanquished because they didn't think you could launch the car into the air. So why bother putting invisible walls in places the player is never supposed to reach? But in Deep Descent, the player can drive in any direction, so they have to seal the whole level in a layer of invisible walls. Despite that, people have come up with all kinds of ideas to get out of bounds in Deep Descent, but none of them have worked. At the start of the level, there's a wide open area behind an enemy submarine, but you can't drive past it without failing the mission. I've spent more time than I'd like to admit trying to find a way past this guy, but it just doesn't work. There's also lots of places that you can get the car stuck in, but the walls are just too strong to get through. There's even this one part where you can drive behind a vent cover and go through the wall, but nobody's been able to get entirely through the wall this way. It seems like there's an invisible wall just past this, which stops the player in their tracks. One speedrunner named Alec Kermit found that you can actually drive through the fan blades up here and get to a part where you can see the empty void of the out of bounds space, but there's an invisible wall blocking you. It's like, we're so close to getting out, but whoever designed this level was just two steps ahead of us. Some people have even tried causing the game to lag so it doesn't check the player's collision often enough to stop them from driving through the wall. The theory is that if you can cause the game to run slowly enough that the game logic that checks if the player is driving into a wall might be delayed enough so the player is inbounds on one frame and out of bounds on the next frame. This is actually more common than you might expect, so it's not a new concept to some speedrunners, but as you might expect, this doesn't work in Nightfire. So you've seen the title of this video and you know somebody found a way out, so what happened? Two speedrunners named Verif and Call Me Liam were talking to each other on Discord and looking for ways to get out of bounds in Deep Descent. 
This had been going on for a while, but they were looking into this one spot where you can drive the car into the crack in the wall. It looked promising because it's not every day that somebody finds something new in this level. If you drive into the wall while you're inside the cave here, you can actually see out of the map, so they knew this had potential. And just a few moments later, this happened. Alright, hang on. Oh my god! Bro! Oh my god! Oh my god! Their reaction might have been a little over the top, but I think it shows how important this was for Nightfire speedrunning. For years, finding a way to get out of bounds in Deep Descent and skip most of the level was essentially this game's holy grail. Now, all you had to do was drive to this part of the level, get the car wedged into this wall, slam the car into an insanely precise spot, and then you might get out of bounds. And, well, that's the problem. Deep Descent Out of Bounds is kind of, it's kind of bittersweet, you know? It's like, it's awesome that it was possible, but it's so insanely precise that it's not practical to use in a full game run. It's precise to the point where only a handful of speedrunners have ever done it, and none of them are crazy enough to go for it on world record pace. Just. Keep in mind that this level is near the end of the game, so what's essentially the hardest trick in Nightfire speedrunning history can only be attempted after doing all the other crazy stuff in the game up to this point. It's just not viable for full game runs. However, Verif did do an individual level speedrun using this glitch and managed to beat Deep Descent 32 seconds faster than the previous world record. Uh, outside of that, what should have been an amazing discovery just didn't change very much in Nightfire speedrunning. What did change Nightfire speedrunning a lot is this. Yeah, out of nowhere, a newcomer named Zupa Troopa found that you can just drive through this part of the wall. As an added bonus, it's really close to the other out of bounds spot, so it's actually faster than doing all that other nonsense to set up the other glitch. I'm honestly. I'm still in shock that such a simple discovery went unnoticed for this long. Years and years of Nightfire speedrunners trying their hand at solving Deep Descent and almost nothing changes. But then one casual player finds the biggest time save in years. How many times have speedrunners driven past this part of the wall not realizing that this random rock you can drive through would end up being the true holy grail of Nightfire speedrunning? The moral of this story is that it doesn't take a dedicated speedrunner to find ways to save time in a game. I've been around long enough to know that speedrunners tend to get tunnel vision. They think that if a way to skip this level hasn't been found yet, assuming it's even possible, it must be really crazy. The truth is that a fresh perspective is always a good thing, because you might just find something that nobody has even thought to try yet. Do you know any examples of something like this happening in other games, where a casual player finds something that speedrunners have overlooked for years? If so, please let me know in the comments because I'm really interested in hearing more about this kind of stuff. Also, be sure to like and subscribe because I might make more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.